there is no destiny listen there is no destiny that opens up without the prophetic not even jesus the prophetic has sadly been abused in our world today but ladies and gentlemen hear me just because of the abuse of the prophetic do not make a mistake of throwing away the prophetic your life will be limited almost all through your lifetime you may have heard me teach that there were three prophets that literally opened up the gates of Jesus's own destiny number one Simeon the prophet number two Anna the prophetess number three John the prophet who you call the Baptist Jesus your Jesus when John did not want to do it he says suffer it to be so it's an ordinance if I ignore the prophetic it will affect my rising my emerging hallelujah the prophetic has a unique ability to cause doors to be open people make progress when the prophetic comes upon their lives we are products of prophecy the speakings of men empowered and engraced by god the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall you be established then it says believe in his prophets so shall you prosper the prophetic is powerful when the prophetic is communicated within the boundary of scripture it works wonders in the lives of those whose hearts are opened and tonight that word is about to come and rest upon someone's life the prophetic when there was famine in samaria it took a prophet called elijah and he came by the spirit stood over samaria and said by this time tomorrow whoever believed it enjoyed the blessings whoever was too arrogant to believe it like the one who the king leaned upon died at the wall just where the door that led to abundance that was where he died when the axe head sank and it would not come up he said alas master for it was borrowed the prophet said where fell it and he threw the rod and the axe head began to float when the woman's child died she ran to the prophet and the prophet brought that child back to life can i tell you when god wants to help you he sends a prophet in truth to your life now let me tell you how the prophetic works not every prophet solves everybody's problems i can be greatly anointed but not sent to you the bible says there were many widows in zarephath but to none was elijah sent that means as elijah was on his way going he met other widows he just greeted them and passed he had no ministry to them how are you madam oh sorry about the loss and he left when he got to the one he was sent to he said i'm sent to you when god wants to help you he helps you very early in life to see the prophet sent to you not the prophet available the prophet sent they were going around looking for the lost donkey Saul now and they said look we can't sit down here and keep wasting our time this donkey will not go back there is a seer there is a man whose word does not fall to the ground let's carry a gift and go and look for him as soon as they met this mysterious man called Samuel number one the donkey started going back home on its own number two he said you will meet three men holding two loaves of bread they will salute you and they will give to you receive it from them number three you will come to the garrison of the philistines and the spirit of prophecy will rest upon you you will be turned into another man can i tell you when you find the prophet sent to you and you are able to receive your life will dramatically change dramatically change hallelujah do you believe this many widows in Zarephath the fact that you came here tonight by the Spirit is because this grace was sent to you 
and I want you to sit back and watch the wonder-working power of the prophetic. I've, I've seen what the prophetic can do. My goodness. This meeting you see is a product of what the prophetic can do. There are many, many great ministers. You love the Lord with all your heart. You are at a level right now where this door that has been closed, you just need a prophetic push to part this Red Sea. No matter how anointed you are, you need that prophetic push. Hallelujah. Believe in the Lord your God. The conditions for receiving from the prophetic is number one, discernment. You must discern. Who is this person that God has brought before you? I'm not talking of human worship, but discernment. He that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. To receive a prophet is not just about kneeling down and doing, although I know that Africans will respect people, but receiving a prophet is receiving him as touching that office. Hallelujah. I wish I had time, I would have shared with you various stories of the a prophet does not have to be somebody who bears the office of a prophet there is the office of the prophetic there is the gift of prophecy there is the operation of the prophetic every believer has access to the operation of the prophetic because the bible makes everyone prophetic it is a more sure word of prophecy I can take scripture and speak over my life. That is the operation of the prophetic. But this is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the prophetic resting upon your life. Many years ago, you've heard my story. I went to buy sugar cane. And when I went to buy sugar cane, I saw two mysterious women. And they kept looking at me. They also went to buy it. And old women. And then I decided that I was going to pay for them. I said, please, you are my mothers. Let me just honor you. They refused, but I insisted. They were trying to lose their wrapper and bring out the money, but I insisted. It was, I'm not sure it was more than 100 naira. Then I bought it for them. Then they began to bless me. To bless me. I don't know why I did not pay attention, but I remember one of the women, I truly believe, if I'm wrong, I'm sure in heaven God will correct me, but I do not believe those women were ordinary women. And if they were, then there was a mysterious covenant in the order of Melchizedek. One of the women looked at me and said, my son, forever walk upon gold. Hallelujah. We're returning from a place after Quara, going to Ekiti State. And I passed a very small village where people lived there mysteriously long. Hundred and something years. I kept seeing obituaries, 113, one this, then I saw 136. He had just died. I went to preach then, some years ago, quite a while. In a university called Afe Babalola University. And when I was done preaching there at their program, I was returning back because we flew through Quara State, Ilori. And on our way returning, I now stopped. I told the driver, Stop. I said, Find somebody for me who can speak English. I saw a group of women standing. And I said, We are men of God. We want to receive this grace by prophecy for long life. What makes people to live mysteriously long? The women could not understand English very, you know, and so God helped us. We found somebody who could interpret. And then I said, who is the oldest man now within this community? I want to sow into the man and just bless the person to speak over us and then we leave. Eventually, they led us to one man. He was seated. Then they brought us to the room. Our interpreter talks to him. These are young men, ministers of the gospel. They came to receive the grace for long life and the man smiled. He said, kneel down. See, those who carry this thing, bar, they know they have it. 
they know they have it a hospital does not look for patients it just equips itself and waits whoever is desperate enough even if it's icu you will find yourself there a hospital there are mobile hospitals yet but classically speaking hospitals don't move around from house to house saying are you sick if you are sick you find yourself people fly to india to america fly to uk fly to all kinds of hospitals relocate themselves from region to region because of their desperation to get to a good hospital that man began to pray in yoruba and as he was praying honestly i didn't care what he was saying my heart was just opened lord whatever covenant you have with these people that keeps making them live long because i know the kind of travels i'm traveling i know the kind of call god has called me into and i don't want to take a risk with my life i felt like a crown resting upon my head while he was praying and whilst we were done sowed a seed into his life appreciated him on my way going back to get into the car they now told me that the man who was 136 years a man of god who just died that was his wife standing <laughs> no stick no nothing the wife of his youth oh i said let's go back i went back and i met i said please the man has died but marriage has made two become one so whatever is in him is also in her i said can they beg her to still pray for us again the woman laughed and she tapped me she said follow me we entered a room and she was showing me photos these were photos with her husband and you know those days they married very 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 early this was the wife of his youth till he died she showed me the photos as many as they could gather afterwards the woman asked us to kneel down she removed her shoes and stood on her bare legs and began to sing and chant and cry upon the name of the lord for over 15 minutes this woman was raining down blessings afterwards i ran back to my people i said you people should stand up i came with a gift i came with no no, no i'm not saying you should stand up <laughs> i ran to my people very quickly let your power power of wisdom rest on me rest on me let your fire holy ghost fire rest on me rest on me listen there are men and women you've heard my teachings when i talk about the prophetic i usually give one or two stories just to encourage you there's a man who had now died called pat robertson the founder of cbn 700 club i heard that man and he said as a young man when he was about to start ministry he cried to god and he said god give me three things number one give me wisdom number two give me favor number three give me the power of the holy ghost i went back to god in prayer if these are the three things that made that man i prayed the same prayer god give me wisdom god give me favor god give me genuine power the power of the holy ghost and like jabez god saw the sincerity of my heart and god heard it tonight someone is receiving these three things i can't guarantee that it's everybody but i know someone the spirit of wisdom the grace for favor and then the power the anointing the unction of the spirit of god may it rest upon you in jesus name what is god going to do tonight number one god is going to be opening strange mysterious doors doors that you do not even know are there because you are so used to walls and limitations you do not even know that there are doors and that under a certain condition they can open what is god going to be doing right now there are people who have come with all kinds of infirmities god has given a mandate to not allow satan to wreck your life the healing ministry is a very powerful end time ministry because everybody is given only one body per lifetime 
and if satan destroys that body whether it is your time or not you will have to leave there is a requisite level of health for your spirit to remain in your body and when your body is deteriorated beyond a certain threshold your spirit will have to leave so every time the devil afflicts you with sickness it is a measure of death coming to your life what is god going to do tonight age-long captivities curses and yokes that help people down listen in this business of ministry i have seen captivity firsthand i remember one time a very precious wonderful beautiful lady true story in desperation for a child the mother went somewhere and the man did all kinds of things and said you will have a child he said but when that child is 20 years make sure you return back true story and she said by then you would have died and the man pointed one young boy and he said this boy will be the one who will be doing this by that time make sure you return this lady if you don't whatever happens true to it if i'm joking i'll tell you i'm joking when this lady clocked 20 on the dot you would dare not come near this lady saying i want to go and see your parents or what 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 will rob the, it will wait will rubbish you by yourself you will just reverse and go back there are people who are sincere but they are carrying influences victims of all kinds of things the bible says upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and after which the sons of jacob will possess their possessions